Hello everyone. This video is in continuation to our videos for grade 10 CBSE chapter life processes. We have covered respiratory system. So in this video, I will be talking about the blue and yellow box activities which are there in this portion respiration of your uh, NCRT or book. Why I am taking up this topic? I did this uh, for the previous topic as well, nutrition. And I will be doing it for the whole NCRT, all the chapters. Why I am doing it? Because uh, questions are being framed from these topics and most of the times they are missed in the classes. So let's um, start without delaying. But before we start again, I would be requesting all of you to like, share, comment and subscribe the channel. If you have not subscribed, please share it with your friends and fellow mates. You can share it with your colleagues, your cousins, wherever uh, you know uh, you have kids who are studying in CBSC grade 10. Uh, please comment and uh, ask your queries. Please comment and you can uh, further ask me what topics you need and how we go about. And also uh, like the video if you are content with whatever is being told in the video. So without wasting time, let's start. Respiration. First of all, the topic is respiration. We are taking the blue box and the orange or yellow box activities of your book. I have taken these screenshots from the book itself so that you know which activities we are talking about. Like for example, here in this uh, particular uh, slide, in this particular slide, I have taken um, activity 5.3 of your NCRT. Fine. So we'll be explaining and I'll be also telling you how the questions are framed from it. So the activity states that there are two uh, test tubes and in both the test tubes lime water is taken and then in one test tube a pichkari is being inserted and it is air is blown inside and the, in the other test tube the air is blown via mouth directly fine. So uh, uh, the points they state take a freshly prepared lime water in test tubes blow air through it. Now how long does it take the lime water to turn milky? Take a syringe and pitch, pitch curry to pass the air uh, through the fresh lime water and in the other, the uh, it is blown directly through the mouth. Now basically what questions are they asking? That first of all they are saying that the lime water turns milky. Fine. The first thing is that the lime water, lime water it has turned milky. Fine. And the second thing which they say is what does it tell us about the amount of carbon dioxide in the air which we breathe out. So the second thing they are expecting from us is to uh, compare that what is happening in both the test tubes, test tube A and B. So the first one is how the lime water turns milky. So you must be aware, uh, you must be ready to answer that lime water has a property that as and when it comes in contact with carbon dioxide, it turns milky or uh, you know, uh, turbid. So that is the property of lime water. So in this case, when the air is directly blown into the lime water, it will turn milky faster as compared to the air which is blown by pichkari. So it states that the carbon dioxide which is there in the exhaled air, the air which will exhale out is more as compared to the air which is there in the atmosphere around us. Fine. So the experiment is to prove that the Carbon dioxide in the air blown out is more as compared to the air which is there in the atmosphere. Now, how is this how is this question asked in the paper? They can directly give you um, a statement to frame an experiment to prove that uh, carbon dioxide present in exhaled air is more. Fine. Or they can uh, you know give you this picture and then they can ask you questions like for example why lime water is kept in this uh, in the test tubes in which test tube do you think that lime water, lime water will turn milky fast um, as compared to the other one uh, what is the purpose of or what are we proving by using a pichkari and uh, what are we proving by blowing directly into the air air into the lime water so these are the ways the questions can be framed so this is our first blue box uh, activity Second activity is 5.5 from your NCRT. It states that uh, take some fruit juice or sugar solution and add some yeast to it. Now the mixture in the test tube is fitted in. Okay, so what do we do? We take a test tube and we take some juice in it and we are adding yeast to it. Now, fit the cork and all. What change do you observe in the lime water and how long does it take for the change to occur? How does you, how, how does it, 
how does this tell us about the product of fermentation or they or they are they themselves have told you that fermentation is going to take place when you add yeast to fruit juice fruit juice provides you know a sweet atmosphere to the yeast so that it can easily ferment now when fermentation takes place if you remember what we did in our previous videos when we were talking about respiration anaerobic respiration which takes place in yeast is known as fermentation and when fermentation takes place carbon dioxide is evolved fine so here in carbon dioxide will be evolved which will give a frothiness fine and the um, uh, change will take place quickly fine and it will it won't take much of the time because it already has an environment which is required which is necessary for the process of fermentation to take place evolvement or evolution sorry of carbon dioxide is taking place in this experiment now herein they can uh, how how will they give you this in the paper they can ask you to frame an experiment using yeast to prove the process of fermentation then they can ask you the definition of what fermentation they they can ask you the equation for fermentation where does fermentation take place what is the economic importance of fermentation we've done all this when we were discussing fermentation fine so this is all which can be asked and this is how we do this activity when we are preparing it for our exam next is atp now this is um this is a question uh, basically the ones which are given in your yellow box are important questions sometimes they just give you as it is they don't change anything they will they would give you a statement from this and then they'll ask you a question out of it like for example we are talking about atp here now when when the word atp comes it should be very clear in your head first of all the full form of atp i don't think it's uh, it's not given here so atp is adenosine tri phosphate fine and there is one more term given here this is atp and there is one more thing given here adp what is that adp adenosine di phosphate fine so adenosine di phosphate is of no use to our body till one phosphate group is attached to it and it is converted into atp jab tak ek aur phosphate group is sath attach nahi kar denge it won't be of any use so atp is formed when adp has one more phosphate group kyunki wo kya hai adenosine is adenosine tri phosphate three phosphate molecule adp is two phosphate molecule usme ek aur phosphate dalenge to wo it will convert into atp why is atp important for our body because what all activities are done in our it acts as you know it acts as a source of energy and if energy is not there in the body body is unable to perform anything that means that is why the process of cellular respiration is very important how is atp formed or in which process it is formed in the process of cellular respiration the end product is atp and as if we if you go back to the videos which we made aerobic respiration Uh, in in the process of aerobic respiration atp molecules are formed large amount of atp molecules are formed which are utilized for the process of metabolism in the body as they have written it here they have given you example of a battery like how a battery can be used to provide to uh, you know provide different type of energies light energy electrical energy and so on similarly atp is also used by the cells to perform contraction of muscles protein synthesis conduction of nerve impulses so and so what what all activities are taking place in our body cannot happen without atp now what do you want what do you need to remember here one full form of atp and adp two how is atp formed atp is formed when adp combines with one phosphate molecule three Uh, for what uh, you know for uh, what is the use of atp in our body what activities does it help in so you need to code these activities of metabolism which are uh, done only when uh, atp amount of atp in the body is optimum fine so this is atp and this is how the questions can be asked from it next is our activity activity 5.6 now what does it say वैसे तो this activity they are directly talking about the question which we discussed in our previous video that why the rate of re uh, respiration in aquatic animals is faster as compared to terrestrial animals this was discussed so uh, they are specifically talking about the fish here so if you see if you have an aquarium or if you get a chance to see an aquarium if you observe a fish you will see that it is opening our its mouth and then it has an operculum here near the eye eye ke piche hi there is an operculum present wahan gills hai uske piche if i show you the structure i'll just make you a rough um, fish here so here in this is the mouth 
एंड हेयर इन बिहाइंड द आई इज द ओपरक्यूलम और ओपरक्यूलम के नीचे क्या है गिल्स ओपरक्यूलम इज अ कवरिंग ओवर द गिल्स इट्स अ कवरिंग विच कवर इज द गिल अ फ्लैप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच कवर तो आप देखोगे दैट देर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर विच इज मूविंग अप एंड डाउन इन द फिश एंड इट्स कंटिन्यूसली टेकिंग इन वॉटर सो इफ यू काउंट दीज रिदम्स the uh, amount of time uh, sorry number of times the fish open its mouth the uh, same is the number of times the operculum moves so the fish it takes in water 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 which has dissolved oxygen in it so that oxygen it flows through the gills and what all oxygen is there it is gills mein kya hota hai gills are the respiratory surfaces and we have already discussed what are the characteristic features of respiratory surface it is vascular moist it is thin so gills are moist uh, thin and vascular so blood vessels are flowing through the gill uh, gills and what happens the oxygen is taken in diffuse it diffuses into the gills and the water now which carries uh, carbon exchange of gases ho gaya wahan pe carbon dioxide goes into the water through the operculum it is thrown out fine so this is how the movement takes place so what are they asking here they are asking that is it it happens in a coordinated manner count the numbers yes the number of counts is same approximately compare the number of times you breathe in and out in a minute so you can compare it with the number of times you breathe in and out so you can compare it with the fish fish which will give you an idea that the uh, rate of uh, uh, taking in or breathing or respiration in case of aquatic animals is much more faster as compared to us who who are terrestrial fine so this is how this activity is and um, this basically talks about that question only which we have done in the last video where we have discussed that why the rate is faster next is more to know now these are two boxes ab i'll just tell you how these are the these are two boxes from where questions have been frequently asked in the previous video previous sorry uh, papers so using tobacco they are talking about how do they ask the question hame lagta hai question is so simple tobacco ke bare mein hum likh hi lenge fine so let's read first using tobacco directly um, or any other product uh, forms of like for example cigar cigarette etc is harmful use of tobacco most commonly affects the tongue now from here Use of tobacco most commonly affects the tongue, lungs, heart, and the liver. Smokeless tobacco is major risk of factor of heart attacks and strokes, uh, pulmonary diseases, and several types of cancers. Smokeless. So we have two points here. Fine. There is high incidence of oral cancer in India due to the chewing of tobacco. So this is the point three. And good ka. Now there are three questions which can be formed. One. Use of tobacco affects which parts of the body? So बच्चे क्या करते हैं? Random तुक्का लगाते हैं. वो नहीं करता है. lungs tongue heart liver then it says smokeless tobacco leads to a risk of what which type of diseases so you specifically have to write heart attack strokes and pulmonary diseases also cancers bachche sirf cancer likh ke chhod dete hain we don't do this now the third point is chances of uh, um, which cancer is uh, you know uh, chewing gutka leads to which type of a cancer Core, oral cancer fine so this is how the questions are framed so that means there are three different points in this small box which can be framed into three separate questions where you need to quote exactly what is here because they are specifying the causes they are specifying the diseases and the structures of the body next box when we talk about it says smoking is injurious to health lung cancer is one of the common uh, in the world the upper part now here in this was a question which was asked in uh, one of the board papers where they said that what are the way how is lung cancer caused bachcho ne simple likha smoking leads to lung cancer this is not the complete answer you won't get full marks so the answer is completed when they you clearly specify that the upper part of the respiratory respiratory surface is provided with this hair like structures called cilia and these cilia help to remove germs now when you smoke smoking destroy these hair like structures in due to which the dust smoke etc etc enters inside the lungs and cause infection cough and even cancer this would complete your answer so when the question comes that what are the causes of lung cancer or how is it caused so just simple writing smoking is not going to help you have to tell them that the nose is lined with cilia and smoking destroy these cilia so sab kuch andar ja raha hai so lungs are taking care of everything so which leads to damage to the lungs and specifically causing to causing the disease cancer next this is the uh, this is the last uh, yellow box of uh, from the topic uh, respiration so if alveolar surface was spread out it would be now here in if we talk about this uh, whole box they are talking about the 
large surface area of the respiratory surfaces for more exchange of gases now as you see if i if i'll make i'll just explain you with the help of picture so if this is an alveolus where exchange of gases take place in human beings and suppose this is another surface fine now we clearly see that due to these convolution and due to these you know structures the surface area of this alveoli is more as compared to surface area of this plane surface now exchange of gases hona hai ek to hai yahan seedha exchange of gases ho raha hai ek ho raha hai har knob mein se har lobe mein se exchange of gases ho raha hai so surface area it increases when the number when the surface area increases the amount of exchange of gases the amount uh, or number of or you can say the quantity of exchange of gases and uh, it increases due to the large amount of surface area so let's read it out if it has something different if alveolar surface is spread out covers 80 uh, meter square how much do you think the surface area of a body is consider how efficient exchange of gases become because of the larger surface area which we've already discussed in our videos when we were talking about the respiratory surfaces so if you extend the structure of alveolus so it is too large that easy you know it it can accommodate large amount of exchange of gases so which helps in you know uh, more amount of oxygen coming inside the body in less amount of time also they are talking about hemoglobin here that aren't you glad that we have hemoglobin kyunki it says that if easy diffusion were if diffusion sirf diffusion se if gases have to move throughout the body it will take lot of time so we have hemoglobin molecule and what do we know about hemoglobin that hemoglobin it combines with oxygen and forms oxyhemoglobin and transports it throughout our body so diffusion se pura transpiration transportation nahi ho raha hai hemoglobin is responsible to do that do that so here in this passage questions how questions can be framed one what is the importance of larger surface area for exchange of gases two what is the importance of hemoglobin in the body so these two answers are just being answered by me so we uh, need to work on the activities and the boxes which are given because they frequently are now giving questions from this um, in our papers as the uh, amount of hots uh, or high order thinking questions have increased in the uh, board papers so thank you thanks a lot again a request to like comment share and subscribe the channel if not done keep watching stay tuned for uh, the videos i am trying to upload the videos every alternate day or every day to cover your syllabus and be assured your syllabus will be covered before your exam so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you